Hello and welcome to our presentation. Today, my groupmates and I will be talking about our final year project, which is constructing PWQT kit. My groupmates consist of Junal Chan, Chris Rainer Paul, and myself, Aaron P. Peter. First, I will be starting off with problem statement. There are three problem statements, which is water sampling issue, distance issue, and the calculations for the WQI issues. The problem that arises for the water sampling issues is that when the samples are improperly taken or the amount of water samples that are taken is not enough. The problem with the distance issues is the distance between the field research area and the laboratory. The ideal time for the samples to get from the field research area to the laboratory is around 4 to 24 hours after the samples are taken. The longer the sample is exposed to different temperatures and surroundings, the more incorrect it will come out. The last one which is the calculations for WQI issues. Students find it very challenging to understand the different calculations procedure as they have to refer to the different kinds of WQI standards and formula. Now, moving on to the objectives. There are three objectives, which is to design the PWQT kits, to replicate the PWQT kits, and to test the practicality and the functionality of the PWQT kits. Moving on to methodology methods. In the first phase, we first identified the problem, and then we studied on how the PWQT kit and WQI wheel works. We also conducted a research about the six parameters of the water quality. In the second phase, we started designing the PWQT kits and the WQI wheels, we also determined whether or not it reached the design criteria that we wanted. We also started creating the WQI wheels. And then we started buying the equipment for the PWQT kit and then started creating it. After that, we analyzed the effectiveness of our PWQT kit. Next are the materials for making PWQT kit. All you need are masking tape, paper cutter, measuring tape, styrofoam, permit empty toolbox, and also a spray pen. For WQI wheels, all you need are F4 paper, thumbtack, and also a scissor. The instruments that we use are pH and DO meter, COD tester, ammonia kit, WQI wheel test tube, and sampling instructions. Next, the process are prepare a toolbox and measure it. Design the arrangement and cut the styrofoam for padding. And cut the instruments layout and wrap it together using masking tape. Spray the styrofoam, let it dry, and after that, put the instruments into each of the placement. While the process of making WQI wheels are first, draw the layout and then insert the text and colors using AutoCAD. After that, print it out and cut it by following the circular shape. Next, laminate the wheels and then cut the outer layer of the wheels by leaving a gap of 0.3 cm. Finally, attach the wheel using the thumbtack. Next, we're going to show you on how to use the PWQT kit in the field work. Step 1, choose which parameter that needed to be calculated. For example, I'll be choosing pH and X will be the value that we got from the river that is 7.89. Step 2, from the parameter that you chose, select the relevant segment to determine the cost of your reading. The value of the pH is 7.89, so it will be bigger than 7. The value pH will be in class 1. Step 3, determine your sub-index parameter according to the reading that you have and place the reading into the sub-index formula. 7.89 is between 7 and 8.75, so the formula is negative 181 plus 82.4x minus 
minus 6.05x square. Replace the x with the value and we will get 92.51. Step 4. Place the sub-index parameter inside the WQI formula. For the pH, it will be 0.12 multiply sub-index pH and the value of the pH in the WQI formula will be 11.1. Repeat step 1 to step 4 to obtain all sub-index parameter and the value of each parameter in the WQI calculation. Lastly, calculate the WQI and determine the suitable class for the WQI. For my data, the WQI value will be 69.82 and it will be in class 3. In conclusion, this study has achieved its objective to construct a portable water quality testing kit that could measure the water quality parameters at the site. Reduce the need to collect too many water samples back to the lab and most importantly simplify the calculation of water quality index by using the WQI wheel innovation. That's all from my group. Thank you.